I've been buying the same model of shoes for like five years. And it seems to me that I buy them and they're brand new. And then suddenly, out of nowhere, my knees and my feet start to get a little sore. And I realize that the rubber on the soles of the shoes are totally worn out. And it seems like no time has passed to me, but somehow these shoes have taken a real beating. So if you read what experts say, they say that you should replace your shoes every eight to 12 months, or if you're an average shoe user, but if you do a lot of running, uh, it might be, might be better to keep track of the kilometers, which is 500 to 700 kilometers, roughly. That's how long your shoes should last. But what is that? What does that look like and why? And why are these experts saying that? I mean, I'm a man of science and I'm really nerdy, so I decided to do an experiment. Welcome to the scope of science. I'm Curtis Bowdy. This is what I did. So when I bought a new pair of shoes back in April, I weighed them. And I wanted to see, after wearing them for a while, how much mass they would lose. So I weighed them in April and I, in order to make this experiment a little more interesting, I also got a Fitbit, which tracks the number of steps you take. And it's not perfect, it's not perfectly accurate, and it's not on my shoes, so I had to do some math. But I was able to use those two pieces of information to figure out how much mass my shoes lost per step. So after about seven, well, after exactly 70 days, I weighed my shoes again. And I found that the shoes lost an average of 6.5 grams during that 70 days. And that's a lot. I mean, I, apparently I use my shoes a lot. I was only wearing these shoes for that experiment. Uh, sorry, I was only wearing these shoes during that whole time. And I found that I walked about 600 kilometers in those 70 days, which makes a little bit more sense as to how I wore my shoes out almost entirely in that time. Now, if you do the math, turns out that I wear those shoes for roughly 9,000 steps every day. And if you do all the math, that's about 21 micrograms of shoe being lost per step that I take. Which is kind of awesome, in my opinion, to actually figure that out. But still, what the heck is a microgram? I never weigh anything in micrograms. Maybe I weigh my body mass in kilograms. I might weigh my food in grams. But what does a microgram weigh? So I did some reading. A single eyelash, one tiny little eyelash, weighs roughly, depends on the person, depends on the eyelash, and so on, but it weighs roughly 40 micrograms, which means that with every two steps I take, I rub off the same amount of rubber by mass as a single eyelash. And it also means that in a one kilometer run, a little more than a one kilometer run, I weigh off the same amount of weight, same amount of mass in rubber as all of my eyelashes, because we have about 250 eyelashes per eye. So that's kind of cool in my opinion. I picture myself running these days and I'm just like, counting eyelashes and picturing eyelashes worth of rubber being run off, which I think is kind of a, a beautiful image to have, a weird but beautiful image to have when you're going for runs. Now, this experiment has been really cool for me, not only because I now know that legitimately I should really be buying, legitimately I should really be buying shoes every three months or so, which makes me feel a lot better about those purchases because I do need the shoes. I weigh off six and a half grams of matter uh, in just 70 days on the shoes. That's a lot. So that makes me feel a little bit better. But what I really liked about this experiment is that it actually took a time scale that I'm not familiar with. It's like we don't see our hair growing. We don't see our shoes getting worn out because it doesn't happen on a time scale that we can really witness. It happens too slowly. But with this experiment, I can actually piece together what that actually looks like. Uh, it looks like an eyelash per two steps, which is kind of cool. Something to think about. Um, 
yeah. So remember to place your, replace your shoes. It's good for your overall health. It's an important thing to do. You gotta take care of your feet. You spend almost, well, you spend a lot of the day on them. And yeah, you can do science in everyday life. You can take questions that you have about how fast your things wear out or anything. And you can do science with it. You can do little experiments and measure things and have fun with it. Kind of gets your brain thinking in a different way. And it's a good time. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you like these sorts of things, please feel free to subscribe and take care.